What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to make the Larry Bird build. Now this is one of the best small forward builds in the whole game. It's very similar to my rebounding wing build from last year but it has a few minor improvements here and there and it's obviously very similar to Larry Bird getting Hall of Fame shooting and defense badges as well as can play make and finish a little bit. So it's a really good all around small forward build that can guard any position and shoot. So without further ado let's get right into the build here. Alright, so on the first screen, not too much matters. Obviously, the name doesn't matter, the hand doesn't matter, the jersey number doesn't matter. The only thing that's important is the position. You want to make sure it's a small forward. Then you can go ahead and click continue. Now, for the pie chart right here, you just want to go down to shooting and defense right here. And you want to take this one. Go ahead and click confirm. Now, for the agility pie chart, you want to take this one right here, the balanced one. You don't want just speed because if you're going to be guarding big men, you're going to want to have that extra strength. And you don't want just strength or anything like that because if you're guarding guards, you're going to want the extra speed. So it goes both ways. You're going to want to go ahead and take the balanced one right here. Go ahead and click continue. Now it's going to tell you set your potential. For the potential, it's pretty easy what you want to do. You want to bring your close shot up to 80. You don't need any higher than that. You're going to be able to make all the shots you need to make at 80. Then put your driving dunk all the way up. Go down to shooting, put mid-range all the way up, three-point all the way up, post-fade all the way up, and then put one into your free throw so you get those 13 shooting badges. That'll be enough. My rebounding wing last year had 17 shooting badges. That was with Hall of Fame quick draw, and this year you don't need quick draw. So 13 will be the perfect amount of shooting badges. I'll show you guys how to put on the badges at the end of the video if you're interested, so make sure you stick around for that. But for right now, let's just go down to playmaking right here. You want to max out pass accuracy and ball handle. And then you want to put up your post moves until you get five playmaking badges because that's the perfect amount that you need for this build. And then you're good on playmaking. You can go down to defense. For defense, you basically want to max out every single category. The only thing that you don't want to put to max quite yet is steal. You're going to come back to that in a second. Just want to max out everything. And then you want to put up your steal so that you just get 21 defense badges right there up to an 80. It can get up to an 82, but you really don't need that. You just need those 21 defense badges and 80 is more than enough. That's a really high steal. And then these last 14 that you have just put into driving layups so you can make driving layups if you're only a few percent contested. But you don't need your driving layup to be super high. This isn't a finishing build. It's obviously an outside build and your dunk is high enough. So if you're going to be open, you'll dunk it anyways most of the time. So that's how you want to have the attribute distribution right there. You can see the badges are pretty good. You don't have a ton of badges on this build but you have enough to get done what you need to do go ahead and click continue right there now for the body shape you could really take whatever you want here i guess most similar to larry bird would probably be this one solid so if you're really trying to go for the larry bird build i would say solid and now onto the height you just want to go plus one just like that six foot eight you can see your speed goes down a little bit a few other things go down a little bit in your stats your shooting your playmaking don't worry about any of that six foot eight is a really really good height for this build that's what my rebounding wing was in 2k20 and i love the build i don't regret how i made that build at all at six foot eight and this year's the same thing six foot eight is the golden height for small forwards or at least for this small forward build right here so go ahead and click that now for the weight right here you want to go up and wait because you can go up a little ways and wait without really suffering any consequences you could see right here you could go pretty high before that speed goes down and you don't want that so you're going to want to be right here at 237 pounds this is the sweet spot right here your strength went up quite a bit your interior defense went up a little bit the only thing that went down was your driving layup by one and that's not a big deal so you're going to want to go ahead and confirm it like this 237 pounds now for the wingspan this is a defensive build and usually i don't recommend lowering the wingspan on defensive builds but in this case it works out just to lower it a little bit just put it down two, just like that to 83 inches. You can see if you're your defense stats go down either one or two, but that's not a big deal. They're all still in the 70s. Your shooting is also in the mid 70s. Mike Wang said on Twitter recently that you need in the mid 70s to be able to green shots consistently in this game. So 74 is right in the middle of the 70s. That's a good spot right there. And obviously if you have shooting boost or if your teammates have floor general or dimer, that's going to boost it up even more. But this is the perfect height for the wingspan right here, 83 inches. Go ahead and click continue. Now for the takeover, obviously you have a ton of personal preference here. You can really take whichever one you want. I don't recommend taking playmaker. I mean, you could if you want, but I don't really see you taking many ankles with this build. You will get a lot of assists, especially on outlet passes and stuff like that. But I really don't see how you're going to get ankle breakers on this build. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you guys could pick this one and prove me wrong and get ankle breakers. But I think the best two is either the sharp or the lockdown. I took the lockdown on my rebounding wing in 2K20 and I do not regret it. I think this is probably the best one to take. You could take the glass cleaner one as well. That's also a good takeover, but I think the lockdown is the best for this build. That's what I'm going to go ahead and take right here. And then you could see as we load in here, boom, well-rounded wing shades of Lamar Odom, Kelly Oubre Jr. and Gordon Hayward. But obviously it plays a lot like Larry Bird. And this is very similar to my rebounding wing from last year. It's a really, really good build. I promise you guys. And since I had this build last year, I know how to put the badges on best. 
So just stick around, watch how to put the badges on really quickly. I promise it'll help you out a lot for this build. Let's get into it here. But first I'll show you how the qu quick stats right here. You can see you got 77 mid range, 74 three pointer, decent finishing, your pass accuracy and ball handle are high enough and all your defense is in the mid seventies, which is really, really good for all around defense. You can guard any position with this build. And then your badges aren't looking quite as nice as some other builds, but I promise it's gonna be enough to function with this build. So you can go ahead and click continue. Now onto the badges right here for the finishing badge. It really doesn't matter. You can take whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take consistent finisher but another badge i would maybe recommend would be slithery finisher it's really up to you for which one you want to take right here go ahead and confirm it like that and then we're on to shooting badges right here for this since you're going to be shooting off the catch and shoot most of the time for this build you're going to want to put catch and shoot on hall of fame if you have hot zones put that on gold if it's right at the start of the year and you're not quite there yet where you have hot zones and you don't know your jump shot good enough put flexible release on gold instead but i think I'm going to put it on hot zone hunter for gold because i think i'll have hot zones right away with this build then you want to have range extender on hall of fame and then some people say put green machine on silver i don't recommend putting green machine on silver for this build because you're not really going to be shooting a ton this is more going to be an off ball second option or third option on offense type of build so you're not even really going to be shooting enough to activate green machine i think corner specialist on silver is a much better investment and that's what i'm going to go ahead and take right here but if you think green machine suits your play style better then you could take that but corner specialist is the way to go for me i'm going to go ahead and confirm it like that now onto playmaking badges right here it's pretty basic what you want for this you want to have needle threader on bronze unpluckable on bronze and then quick first step on gold just like this this is the perfect amount of playmaking badges for this build five is perfect that's all you need just like that that's the perfect way to have it set up then you can go ahead and click confirm now onto the defense badges right here you're going to want to put on bronze chase down hall of fame clamps hall of fame intimidator obviously then you want to put on hall of fame rim protector and hall of fame rebound chaser just like that now last year I had Pogo Stick on Hall of Fame to go with those badges, but this year with Pogo Stick getting nerfed so much, I don't think that's the way to go anymore. What I'm going to do instead this year is put Interceptor up to gold, and then put Worm on bronze. I think Worm is the most underrated defense badge for big men. It really does help, it really really does, I promise you it helps. Maybe not a ton, but it does help quite a bit with you getting rebounds. I think it's better than box for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like this. But if you're going to be setting screens, maybe you don't want these. Maybe you want brick wall and hall of fame instead. That's if you're planning on setting screens. I'm not really planning on setting screens. So I'm putting interceptor on gold and worm on bronze just like that. Go ahead and click confirm. And there you guys go. That's how you make the best Larry Bird build in NBA 2K21. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm uploading daily NBA 2K21 content every single day for the whole year. And also I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch almost every single day. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to either my Twitch or my website. If you guys go check out my website, I have links to all my socials there, as long as a bunch of other cool ways to interact with me and my content. So make sure y'all go check that out. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Hopefully this build helped you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy playing with this build if you decide to make it. I promise you it's really, really good, but that's gonna be it. All right, peace.